Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new weekly painting and this week I'm going to talk about how to paint this type of ornaments on the necrons. So I will do this in like a jade uh, type of color and I will st start applying cyberite green. Okay, so we are going to apply a layer of cyberite green. Um, this was um, um, primed with black and zenithal white. So we can apply this quite thin and leave it a little bit transparent so we have a little bit the shade showing off through the shade color okay so i'm going to apply that if you have a, a solid black just apply a couple of layers in my case i will go with one layer it's i will not need more as i want to keep a little bit the shade that i, I create with the zenithal priming Okay, you can see that it's quite thin the paint and uh, it is helps also to spread it uh, all over the, the these scales. Okay? So we'll apply first um, cyber green and once this is done I'm back. So once the cyber green half dry, we are going to apply Coelia green shade on this cloak. Okay? Be careful not to uh, that is not pulling. We are going to apply this on both sides, okay? And we'll we have to be sure that all the recesses get shaded, but we don't overshade the plates itself, okay? To something like that. Okay, we do the inside as well. This is quite a fast. A step and now we will need to wait that this device before doing any other step okay so we'll wait this device that's all I mean, that's all for the wash then we will do the highlights okay so we apply air Okay, and that's all. So now we wait at this device and I come back. Okay, once the um, wash has dried, we are going to start doing the highlight and making like uh, some uh, additional shining. So I'm going to, go to use again Cyber Green and we are going to do a little bit of edge highlight. For this step, I will do one of these part of the cape, I will not do the full cape, so I will do one side, for example, all this one here to show you what what is the objective here, okay? So we apply this, as you can see, we do HK light and we especially, we want to leave this part there darker, okay? You can go a little bit thick with this line because then we want to apply the Gauss blaster green that is going to be the next step. If you have mistake like here, that you go inside, we use a little bit of Caliban green because we want to keep these lines, the shade really dark to give uh, better. Okay, so you go a little bit in, I go with Caliban green and I touch a little bit. Okay. Keep doing this with 
Cyber Green. Okay. And this can work for any pattern you do for your own for your crypto, right? Uh, you if you have the common silver one, you can also use this type of jade color for the cape. Okay. So you can have the feel like this. I think this jade colors, dark these green colors they match very well with with the neck ones so I'm really enjoying I'm really get creating fun painting these neck ones and experimenting okay once we are here the next step I'm going to take one side and I'm going to apply Gauss Blaster even like that. Okay. I don't do the full Age. As you can see, I'm only doing the this one this side. Okay. And now we can do, for example, this part here. Okay. And we do the same. Tip to be thin. This gives some additional bright points, and you don't want to apply this everywhere. Okay, something like that. Now what we can do in some of these uh, plates, I will take first cyber green and I will do a line like that. Okay, we want to be intentional we and keep the same more or less the same direction in all of them. We can do some here and some we are going to do it there. And you don't want to put them all in the same position. So for this one can start here and finish there. Okay, and then we go again with Gauss Blaster Ruin. We are going to follow the lines we painted before. Okay, this will add then depending okay don't worry if some of them are too thick if them here we can add this one here if some are the less intense it's not a problem neither so I want to I want to check. Maybe I will add up some more. Okay, and here it's quite empty. Here for them. Okay. Once we have done that, come back with cyber green. 
very thin and we go over okay you see this one for example it was a little bit thick we go there now you see that it's looking much better and this one now we will clean up one piece No, it's a matter. It's up to everyone who want you the the Gauss blaster going to be visible. I'm gonna apply here. So you want this? That's and for that we do all the different we using this technique we repeat this in all the and the rest of the cape. I will show you how it looks like when it's finished and then yeah, and yeah. so I'm going to do now the rest of the parts like that and I will show you the final result. Okay, this how it looks like once the full cape is painted. Sorry, I call it like that, but I just paint the rim of the base and I don't want to touch it, touch it too much. And here you have. So this is the uh, how to do this type of cape. I hope you have liked this tutorial. It's quite uh, straightforward, a little bit time consuming, but not too much. Uh, just using a couple of colors on a wash and then edge highlight and adding these lines and bright points. So I hope you find this interesting. Please let me know what do you think. Uh, as usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you in later. Bye!